G'day, Parcells. I actually ended up staying at a friend's Airbnb. While I'm here, I want to show you guys Parichara. It's a 300 year old town that, apart from the cars and the motorbikes, looks exactly like it did 300 years ago. So I'll give you guys the tour of the Airbnb in a little bit, but check out this view. So I'm a bit peckish before lunch, picked up some ants. Not the first time I've had uh, had Kulona ants. First time I had them was on the Medellin Metro. I do apologize for that. I don't consider ants as food. So when there was no food signs on the Metro, I didn't think I was breaking any rules, but very, uh, very glad to see that there's a strong Metro culture in Medellin. They really respect it and uh, it's become a really, uh, uh, nice form of public transport there. Big butt ants. They're actually really tasty. All right, I'm at the church. It's something I've been wanting to do for eight years. No one's home. Eight years ago, we came through this plaza. They told us that the priest had gotten drunk on a Saturday night and he lost the key to the bell tower door and because the door is 300 years old they needed to get a blacksmith to make the key and now it looks like nobody's home so once again i'm not going to get to the bell tower so eight years ago i rode through this very spot I had a surfboard strapped on the side of the motorbike and the idea was to arrive to argentina but when i passed through towns like this and saw how much potential Colombia had. It's part of the reason that I decided to stay. Oh, check out this photo. So Airbnb is a really simple and straightforward platform for traveling. Uh, but traveling by motorbike, it gets a bit more complicated. Sometimes I don't know exactly when and where I'm arriving. Uh, luckily, at this Airbnb, it's a friend who uh, had a place open, so I didn't have to go through the back and forth. The beauty of Airbnb is that you can stay in a place that you might not normally stay. Just give me a second here. <laughs> So this place has a beautiful pool, it has a nice open terrace, luckily for me a parking lot as well, very important. So the construction of these houses is actually done layer by layer, kind of building blocks uh, as they go up, but really cool staying in one of these kind of classic style houses. The town is full of like craftsmen and artisanal uh, kind of workshops. So a lot of the fixtures that you'll see are, you know, handmade and antique uh, kind of fixtures, which also gives it a very, very cool feel. This is what you get for $20 in Barichara. Um, basically a private bedroom and a shared bathroom. Um, nice little view of the terrace. Again, I've opted to put my things on an open space instead of the cupboards that were there. Is that just me? Am I the only one who prefers to have access and having the things open and accessible as opposed to putting them away in the cupboard? 
Let me know in the comments below. I'm curious to know. So it's a very good example of the Airbnb experience. Um, you know, one downside is that you are in a house. It's not a private apartment. You are kind of sharing with other people, other living spaces. That can be adv advantageous when the person or the host is nice, as is the one here, Nancy. She's been very sweet, um, kind of recommending places. Uh, so there is, you know, there's pros and cons to the experience, but there's a glimpse into the Airbnb by each other. Not bad for a 30 cent, 1,000 peso uh, Tinto. You could easily spend a week here doing uh, extreme sports and seeing the canyon, seeing the, the parks, uh, bird watching, um, downhill mountain biking, whitewater rafting, a lot of stuff to do here. But Cartagena awaits. The guys are progressing on the renovation there. So uh, the Puente is over. I'm going to get on the road. Uh, I'm going to drop another few hundred meters and raise a few more degrees in terms of temperature. So, hey, ho. Let's go! is a delicacy in Santander. Sam Miller. Me regaló una firma acá con el número de documento. Bienvenido, que esté muy bien. Gracias. En la rendición es el número 100, por si necesitas algún gol. So my hotel experience has begun. Uh, I'm in Bucaramanga or just outside it in Florida Blanca. I'm gonna get some editing done and we'll see you in the next video for a bit of Bucaramanga Santander action. Make sure you click subscribe and click the notification bell so you can come along for the ride. See you in the next video.